Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kyger, and we are back here with part four of the Xbox 360 collection. I think there's only one more part to do after this. Um, got quite a few to go through here, but before I do that, I just want to start off by saying that I've actually set up my um, eBay page. Um, I will leave a link in the description. I haven't got much for sale at the moment. Um, I think my prices are somewhat fair. Um, if they're too high, of course, you can always give me a message and maybe work something out. Um, at the moment, I don't have a lot for sale on there. I've just got a pink Game Boy uh, Advance bundle for sale. Um, I've got two PS2 games for sale as a bundle, just Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Gun Griffin Blaze. And also I've got my Simpsons box sets for sale, which is season 1 to 12 as a bundle. Um, I don't want to sell everything. I'm just... Whatever I'm selling is either things that I've got double of or I don't use anymore or if, you know, I've already got a, a version of a DVD or something on uh, Disney Plus or Netflix or something. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave a link in the description um, if you guys want to check it out. And of course, come in the future, you know, we will be uh, when we do proper pickups and things again. You'll probably see some of the stuff that I get for sale there. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the next part. First up, we have Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I really enjoyed this game. Pretty cool hack and slash game. And it comes in this steel bookcase, which I do like. I might start doing some giveaways and things in the future as well. Let me have Mind Jack. Kind of an interesting game, but uh, it didn't really uh, do very well. We have Mini Ninjas. I think this game's becoming a little bit more collectible. Could be wrong there. And we have Monster Madness, Battle for Suburbia. Again, another game that I think might become a little bit more collectible in the future. Just didn't get the sense that it sold well. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Uh, See, so yeah, do these reprint covers, which I do like, but at the same time I don't like because they put the that on there you know you don't you shouldn't really have to do that but more effects um i hear this game is terrible but uh xbox 360 uh has a variety of games both good and bad then we have mx versus atv alive 2011 quite a few of these games out there and we have nailed <coughs> By Techland. Kind of like a pure style game. Then we have a steelbook edition of... Uh, I think this is also known as the limited uh, extreme condition of Lost Planet. The original game. It is a limited edition. Comes with an art book, a CD and some multiplayer content. Which probably don't work anymore. Uh, nice heavy steelbook there. Uh, I'm not sure how much that goes for. Lost Planet 2, in a terrible condition, and Lost Planet 3, of course, classic games there. Lost Odyssey, uh, this game was actually considered to be one of the best RPGs on the play, uh, Xbox 360. Huge game, four discs, pretty big. Some Kinect games here, we have Kinect Adventures, in the purple case. The Michael Jackson experience. Again. Motion sports play for real. Of course, in the purple cases, meaning you have to have a Kinect to play them. The Kinect Sports Standard Edition. Rise of Nightmares, a game that had a good premise, but I think the game just didn't do very well. The notorious Kinect Star Wars game, often considered to be the worst Star Wars game of all time. I don't know if I'll go that far, but... And then the last one we have here is Gunstringer. I hear this is actually a pretty good game. Then we have Madden 2007. And Madden 12. I am missing quite a few of these Madden games. But they're cheap. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance here in a blank case. Yeah. Then 
We have two more special editions. We have the collector's edition of the original Gears of War. I've already done unboxings for these videos and um, games in the past. And the limited edition of three, uh, two, sorry. Nice heavy box there. And the standard edition of three, I am missing the limited edition of three, which I am always looking out for. And I am missing Gears of War Judgment as well. But they are all on the Game Pass. G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. Kind of a interesting game. We have Goldeneye Reloaded 07. This game's had three versions of it. You had the original, then the one on the Wii, and then they did a remaster of the one on the Wii, which is this one. Why? I don't know. <clears throat> Grand Theft 4K4, the complete edition. Comes with the original game and both DLCs. I enjoy Grand Theft Auto 4. Never played the DLCs though. Green Lantern, Rise of Manhunters. Uh, kind of a fun game actually. It's pretty solid as a co-op game, you know. Um, sort of drop in, drop out, beat em up game. And we have Guitar Hero Aerosmith. I believe this game does work without the guitar. I think there's only like the first, the second, the third and that one. And maybe like Metallica, I could be wrong. Uh, speaking of Metallica, we have the Metallica version here. Um, I think Aerosmith's the only other one that doesn't require a guitar to play it. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Again. And then we have um, Guitar Hero 2, which doesn't require a guitar to play. That's the same with the third game. I really enjoyed the third one. I think the third one's probably my favourite. World Tour. This one was pretty good as well. And Guitar Hero 5. Of course, um, Guitar Hero's um, gone away now. We... I haven't really had a new Guitar Hero game in quite some time. And then we get into my Halo stuff. We have the limited edition of Halo Wars. The um, Elite Edition here with the Arbiter on the front there. Includes all of these bonus things. I, I think everything's in there, but I could be wrong. And the Halo 2 map pack. Which was uh, for the original Xbox. Halo 3 Classic Edition, but the servers for this game are being taken down. It's a sad day for Halo fans. Halo 3 ODST, which I did actually enjoy. Um, all of these Halo games are playable on Xbox One, but you can also get the Halo Master Chief Collection. I have three copies of Halo 4. Um, I think they're all in there. Uh, Halo 4. Halo 4 Disc 2. Yep, I think they're all in there. Um, if anyone wants a copy of Halo 4, hit me up. I might sell some of these on uh, eBay, so I'll probably put two of them there. Should aside and keep one for myself. Put them on the eBay. Try and put a couple of quid for them. Uh, Halo Reach. My favourite of all time. I love this game. And the remastered Halo Anniversary from the first game. Um, excuse me. Then we have Hellboy The Science of Evil. I hear this game is actually really bad. I hear it's a pretty terrible game. But it has a co-op mode in it which um, I wouldn't mind trying one day. Let me have the History Channel's Great Battles Medieval. I think it's like a total Rome war game, what you'd be call it. Hitman Absolution. The um, first game by the Square Enix title. Homefront, the game that was meant to be the Battlefield Destroyer. But unfortunately, um, just failed to meet the expectations that Battlefield did. It had an interesting campaign though. Hunted, The Demon's Forge. I actually really like this game. This is like um, a, a hybrid game. You know, it, it has sort of like um, a third-person um, 
cover based shooter like Gears of War and then hack and slash moment with RPG elements and it's co-op. Infinite Undiscovery, another Square Enix title. Avatar the Game. I hear that this isn't too bad. Clive Barker's Jericho. Ironically, I actually watched um, Hellraiser last night, so there might be a review of Hellraiser coming at some point this week. John Woo's Stranglehold. This is actually a pretty fun game. It reminds me of Max Payne or something. Jumper. Griffin Story. This game is horrendous. So I hear it's one of the worst games out there. <coughs> Kengo Zero. A sort of Bushido Blade style game. If you've ever heard of that. We have Killer is Dead. It's the limited edition. I I don't really know what any difference is between this and the standard version. I think it comes with... Um, it came with some bonus content. But it's the standard edition in there. I think the only difference is if you had this game on launch. You probably got a couple of bonus content. Circle of Fire, uh, sorry, Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom. Another hack and slash game that um, started on the original Xbox. Knight's Contact, um, this is actually uh, kind of a hard one to find. It took me a while to find this one. The original Left 4 Dead Game of the Year edition. I believe um, this came with all of the DLC on the disc, which is awesome. In my opinion, one of the greatest games of all time. I absolutely loved Left 4 Dead. Um, first one's a classic, but the the uh, sequel, Left 4 Dead 2, in my opinion, is far superior. Um, I absolutely played this game to death back in the day, and I still go back and play this sometimes today. Absolutely love Left 4 Dead. It's just such a great game. Legendary, kind of a cool concept, but not handled very well. We have a Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Just the disc and the manual. Um, I am playing this on Xbox um, Series S at the moment. Um, I think it was on the Game Pass or given away for free at some point. Um, I'm 100% in it. i have about 60% now. I've just got to do um, all of the... Uh, mini kits and get all of the characters and do the uh gold bricks now uh lego lord of the rings i think i originally played this back in the day um i would like to see lord of the rings and the hobbit get like a xbox uh, a next gen version with all, all of the um jr token games on there uh lego jurassic world never played it and Lego Rock Band. Um, I think you do need to have at least something to play this. I could be wrong there. And then the last ones we have the awful Leisure Suit Larry box office bust. Um, they wanted to make a 3D platformer based on Leisure Suit Larry. And of course it is. Um, uh, it was horrendous. Very, very uh, terrible game I hear. Then we have Lightning Returns Final Fantasy in the Steelbook, the slipcase variant. And um, this version actually did include some exclusive limited editions, um, cloud um, package. Um, you got to play as uh, Lightning Returns in, uh, sorry, Lightning as Cloud with his weapon and uh, that. And we have another triple pack Trials HD Limbo and Explosion Man. Three pretty awesome indie titles. And the last one here is London 2012. Um, kind of a, again, these, these games are pretty fun. And I've got to say that the graphics on this game are pretty awesome. The water physics on this are beautiful. So, there we have the next part. I think we've got one more part to go. Um, some copies of Halo 4 that will probably go up on eBay. I'll probably... Oh, I'll see how much they go for in CX. Probably don't get a lot for them, but or if you want a copy of a Halo 4, let me know in the comments below or message me or something on Twitter or Instagram. Um, if you need a copy of Halo 4, I've got two. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed 
today's video. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description um, for the eBay um, selling page, of course, uh, coming in the future. We will be selling some other stuff. Again, I, I, I don't want to be one of these people that goes out and spends, you know, £20 on a PlayStation 2 and sells it online for like a hundred pounds i'm not going to do that i'm going to just sort of bundle things together and sell things as a bundle um so if i brought a playstation 2 um for like 30 quid for example from a pawn shop and it worked you know i'd probably bundle about five or six games for a bit maybe sell it for like 40 50 quid you know things like that you know fair fair enough prices so that i'm i don't feel like i've lost out but at the same time you don't feel like you're paying too much for it um just just so i can earn a little bit of money along the way and maybe um do things but like i said ebay could be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes so you know i might reach out to like things like facebook um marketplace and and uh, other um marketplaces and things but of course you're always welcome to Send me a message on Twitter or Instagram if you uh, see anything in a video that you perhaps would like to buy from me. Um, of course, I'm not going to sell things that I want to keep, but some things I wouldn't mind parting with, um, you know. But like I said, a lot of this stuff, I, I, I wouldn't want to just like sell you like this, for example. Uh, I paid a pound for it and charge you like five pounds or something like that. I ain't going to do that. Um, I prefer to bundle things together. Um, but um, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight. I am going to play some LEGO Star Wars soon. Um, if there is a stream tonight, it will be at the usual time. It will either be, be It Takes Two, um, Part 3, or I might just stream while playing LEGO Star Wars 3, trying to get everything else completed. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. Um, and of course, guys, uh, comment below. Let me know if there's anything here that you uh, you particularly like and would like to see more of. Um, I will try and do some more videos throughout the rest of the week. And as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch at the Mad Kyger, and I will leave a link to that eBay shop in the description. As always, guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.